The first 911 call came around 2 this afternoon, but police say that was only the beginning. The only thing that stopped a runaway box truck, this runaway box truck rather, was a school bus filled with Stanford High School students. First at 11, police say an out-of-control driver is to blame for a slew of accidents this afternoon scattered across the city. Police say the man behind the wheel of a box truck crashed into a number of cars before he smashed into a school bus. Fox Connecticut's George Colley is live on East Main Street with more on what happened and the people who were hurt. George. Allison, the Stanford police I spoke with, one has been a cop here for 30 years. He said he's never seen anything like this. 30-year-old Stanford resident Christopher Simonelli jumped in a box truck, and by the time he got out of it, he had smashed into 14 vehicles, left 19 people brought to the hospital, and left Route 1 here in Stanford looking like a battlefield. The sounds were just twisted metal sounds, you know, screeching. Almost like an explosion, kind of. Just a lot of impact. Then I just seen debris and stuff everywhere. It almost was like a battlefield. It sounded like that. It was it was so loud, but it was so fast. It looked like a movie to me. It would be difficult to replicate a scene such as this one from Route One in Stamford in a movie. It was horrifying. I think some people would probably say. Around 2:15 this afternoon, 30-year-old Christopher Simonelli stole a box truck from his employer's Action Letter and went on a rampage that included smashing into 13 vehicles and a school bus filled with 23 Stamford High School students. With the 23 students who were our primary concern on the bus, 17 were transported to Stanford Hospital and 12 were examined and all were treated and released. Gallagher said 19 people were brought to Stanford Hospital. The consequences of an action that was no accident. It is not a, in any term an accident. This is a criminal investigation. All indications are that the actions of the operator were intentional. Tony Cordello's body shop is next door to Action Letter, the print and stationery office. When it had issues with the truck and the service or whatever, you drop it off and... You know, I talked to him, I, if I saw him walking or something, and, um, you know, he always said hello. You would have never expected this from Simonelli. Nothing that would, you know, clue you to that uh, someday he would do something like that. I guess the guy just snapped, I don't know. We did attempt to speak with the owners of Action Letter, but they refused to comment. Simonelli is still in the hospital, but when he gets out, he can expect a host of charges against him. Once the uh, investigation is complete, I would anticipate uh, at least one count of assault in the first degree, several counts of assault in the second degree, as well as charges of risk of injury to a minor for all the students who are on the school bus. What you're looking at now is a live scene of Route 1 here in Stanford. As you can see, traffic has opened back up. It was just before 8 o'clock that the investigators were able to clear the streets and be able to get things going here again. Now, as for Simonelli, he is in the hospital still. Life-threatening injuries. He can expect uh, that whole host of charges when he gets out. There was one more woman, another driver who he hit, who is also in the hospital. She was brought there under with critical condition. She's now in fair condition. It was quite a scene here, Allison, in Stanford. From Stanford, George Colley, Fox, Connecticut.